to a brand new video. This video is going to be how to use Votifier, and I'm just doing the intro right here on the Skyblock, and I'm just hanging out with Jeff in the middle of the air next to the fountain. Yeah, I forgot what it was called, but anyways, uh, let's hop into it. We are on Minecraft Hosting that Pro, and this is the host I will be using during this tutorial. First of all, you want to go ahead and install Votifier, so just click that that link, and then also you want to install J Listener. Uh, that stands for Give Anything Listener. Basically, it gives the items that uh, after your players vote. So go ahead and install both of those, and uh, restart your server, and I will hop into the config. Here we have downloaded and installed and restart the server for Votifier. This is what it looks like. Here is your config. That YML, your RSA, and. Uh, those are your keys and then your listeners. So uh, go ahead and open your config.yml. So we're going to open that. And uh, this is what it will look like. So at first, um, it's going to have the port is going to be different. And then your host uh, is just the host IP that it automatically starts it. But this is gonna, the port is going to be different. It's going to say 8192 because that's the default port. And uh, when, when you restart your server, if you check your console, it will say uh, there's like an error because this port already in use and blah, blah, blah. So don't worry about that. So come into the config. And what you want to do for Minecraft Hosting Pro for this host, yeah. you're gonna use the ports from 31,000 to 32,500,000. To so I will put those numbers on the screen. You have to choose yeah. a port between those numbers. So as I did, I put three, one, two, five, six. So uh, make sure don't use mine because. Yeah. You have to uh, select a different one from uh, one of those. So make sure don't use mine because uh, mine's already taken. So if you're using a different host, uh, contact them, uh, send them a ticket or something, and ask them which ports are open. Uh, for regular uh, hosts, I think somewhere between 1024 and 1560, I think. I th I'm not quite sure on that, but just contact your host if you're not using Minecraft Hosting App Pro. Yeah. But if you are using Minecraft Hosting Rot Pro, as I said, uh, the ports uh, from 31,000 to 32,500 ports are open. So go ahead and save that. And uh, yes, we want to save that. So next, um, in the RSA, this is your public key and your private key. So what you want to do after you get all your vote firing and J Listener stuff set up, you're going to come in here and open your uh, public key. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a whole bunch of different random numbers and letters and all that stuff. And when you add it to different uh, yeah. sites, uh, it's going to ask for the public key. So make sure you copy and paste this and paste it in there. So now let's head over to the GA Listener config. Here we are in the GA Listener config. And uh, as you see right here, there's online only. All this stuff just uh, basically... Uh, is a description of what you can enable or not and uh, yeah. down here is what it says online only true and then you can uh, just look up here yeah. for the description of it if you want it to true and set it to true if you don't want it true set it false <laughs> that's pretty much simple uh, don't touch this unless you know what you're doing because that is for my yeah. SQL and uh, so let's get into the services so the services stand for like MC index as you see right here or Minecraft server list or uh, Minecraft servers dot com or whatever so that is what the service is and for my uh, server what I have I have uh, two two different things so one I have MC index so that knows that MC index is one link and then I have one for the default so that is the rest of the links that I have so for my server for example I have MC Index huh. that it gives a voting key every time uh, players vote on MC Index, but on every other uh, link, then uh, it doesn't give it. It just gives the regular items that I set. So what you can do, you can either delete this MC Index and have all the links exactly the same for huh. the default thing, but if you want uh, for like MC Index or whatever. Uh, service that you have uh, make sure to put it uh, right there but I suggest just leave it the same uh, if you wanna do any config just copy and paste it and uh, that's pretty much how you're gonna set it up so uh, for right here where it says the broadcast uh, I just have it in a green but you can use color codes like and a which is green and then and six was gold so you can use all those color codes 
and then you can have the player message. So make sure uh, if you're editing this and uh, don't forget to put this in the quotation mark or whatever it's called. That's not a quotation mark. I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but one of those end thingies for the um, for the config. Make sure you put that because if you don't, then it will screw up uh, your config, and then you have to go like refind it. And uh, yeah, so it's just a bit he headache. So my suggestion: just copy and paste everything, and then uh, just edit the stuff that you want to change. So that's for that. And then uh, for the lucky vote section, uh, you can. Uh, it's going to look a little di different, but it's going to be one in 25 percent, one in uh, 75 percent, as I see, as you see right here. So basically, um, this is not what it looks like by default. But uh, I, what I did, I just copy and pasted it, just changed the numbers, and uh, it gives you a little explanation of how it works. So it's one in 50 percent chance for an extra thousand dollars. And uh, as you see right here, it's one in 85% chance to get two voting keys. So that's just how the voting uh, works. And you can scroll down here for different like permissions and everything. Uh, I don't use that, uh, but you can. And then you can get uh, cumulative. So basically what cumulative is, is if you vote like so many times for the server, then you'll get an extra boost or whatever. So some servers use this. I personally don't use it, but you can do whatever and then you can block worlds uh, I have all the worlds open because people like to be in different worlds when they vote or whatever so that's just all up to you pretty self-explanatory and then you can have the vote message uh, when I have a vote message is when uh, you join or the slash vote so here's the join message that I have and then the vote message when people do slash vote and this is what it shows and then a remind message, if you set it to true up top in the config, you can set it to true, and this will remind every so many amount of seconds that you set. And then uh, basically, you can have uh, vote top, and basically, you just top voters, and then rewards, and all that great stuff. So this is the GA uh, config. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure if you're using Minecraft Hosting at Pro, you use the ports between... 38, I mean 31,000 and 32,500,000 ,000 for the port. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this does work for 1.8, uh, even though the Votifier says it's for like 1.5.2 or whatever. It still works. Everything works fine for me on my 1.8.3 server and uh, all the way up. I've tested it up to 1.8.8. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.